Hey guys, this is Onye of Pieces of Onye, clearly. Um, in today's video, I am doing a quick review and unboxing of Google's, of Google's photo book. Before I hop into this, I did wanna say a special thank you to Google for collaborating with little old me um, and sponsoring this photo book. You guys are the best, thank you. All right, now let's hop right into this. First of all, a disclaimer, I am feeling a little bit under the weather, and this is gonna be a super quick video, so you know, I didn't bother doing my hair too much, so that's why the hat is here, and it's a bit stiff. So work with me, okay? Any doodle, if you're following me on Instagram, then you saw a few days ago I posted um, this photo book, and the reason why I was so excited about this collaboration is because, let me get this out of the wrapping paper so it doesn't make a whole bunch of noise. Peace hold. Okay, the reason why, I hope you guys can see this beyond the glare. Um, the reason why I was so excited about this book right here is because um, this year I decided to quit my job, quit my full-time job, and become a full-time um, photographer slash influencer. And so what I wanted to do at the end of this year was I pretty much wanted to document my favorite um, photo shoots are my favorite images from this year. I wanted a tangible way to remember some of my highlights of this year. So I felt that creating a Google photo book was the perfect way for me, especially as a photographer, to physically document you know, my progress. So I'm gonna make this an annual thing. This story's getting a bit long, so let me just wrap it up. I wanna do this every year pretty much, so I feel like the best way to see how much you've progressed is to document it. And what better way to document things than with a photo book? This is perfect for photographers, but even if you're like an influencer, if you're creating a business, a brand, whatever, you know, document where you started. Document those those successes, document the failures. Like next year when I look back, I'm gonna look at these pictures and be like, damn girl, you came a long way. And that's why I'm so excited about this book and this collaboration. Um, it's perfect for me as a content creator slash influencer slash photographer slash whatever else you want to call me. Anyway, enough about me. I'll get off the soapbox, stop playing my little violin. Let's hop right into the unboxing and the actual review. Like I said, I posted this on my Instagram a few days ago and I received a few questions. So I wanted to make sure that I address those in this video for anybody that's interested in purchasing this book. It's actually pretty affordable. Now I ordered a hardcover copy. They also have a soft cover, which I'm assuming is a lot cheaper. But for the hardcover, I ordered 20 pages. It's a 20 page book, 20 pages. Um, all color photos and mine came out to a little under $22 which isn't bad for a 20 page book if I did 20 pages and it worked out to about $20 it's about what 10 cents a page did I do that math correctly a uh, dollar <laughs> 20 pages came out to about $20 so it's about a dollar a page okay it's not bad You cannot, at least from what I um, saw and what I noticed in the app, you cannot add multiple pictures per page. So the only options that they give you, I don't know if you, I hope you guys can see this okay. You can only add one photo per page. However, they give you different sizing options for the pictures. I believe there are like maybe two or three different sizing options. Um, there's a smaller version of this. Did I, do? I don't think I did a small, um, yeah, I didn't do the small option because I wanted to get my money's worth of okay. it. So there's a small option. This is, I would consider, like the medium option right here. And then they have a um, a full page option. I hope there's no glare on this. I can't really see that far because I don't have my contacts in. But there's this full page option as well. So for my personal photo book, I kind of alternated between full page and that medium um, size right there. What I do love about the Google Photo Books app is that it tells you when your picture is of low resolution. They're like, hold up baby girl, or baby boy. 
that picture ain't gonna work. Like it literally tells you this picture is low resolution and may appear blurry. Now from what I have heard from other folks that have used other photo book services, they don't do that. And so when you get your photo book, you're like, yo, what's this blurry stuff on my pages? Who even is that, right? Another cool thing about the Google photo books is that you can add captions to each page. Um, for my personal book, I only did it on the first page. And then on the last page, I added another caption that says, the best is yet to come. How poetic of me, right? They have an iOS version and an Android version for those who are just slow to move over to the iOS side. In terms of like delivery timing, I ordered my book on December 8th. It shipped on December 10th and I received it on December 14th. And I actually think it would have arrived earlier, but FedEx was on something, okay? And it just didn't come when it was supposed to come. But even on December 14th, that's actually still a pretty cool, um, pretty quick turnaround. Um, like I said, the process was super easy. It got here fast. And honestly, I'm very impressed with the final product. Like the image quality, superb. I mean, that's partly because of my photography skills. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But um, no, I think it's awesome. And for it to be so affordable, so quick, so easy to use, this I think is a must have for everyone. All right, I think I just about covered everything. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will be sure to get to them. Uh, right now, I'm going to go take some airborne or some vitamin C before this take complete hold of me but until next time adios guys bye